Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, YouTube. Happy New Year. Okay, we're out in the shed getting everything organized for the live stream. This is the vlog, but I'm hoping by 3 p.m. today that I will be able to republish the live stream from last night in case you were unable to watch. So I just got to, I'm, this live stream business is all new to me. I've never done one. Uh, so I'm out here trying to figure out the technical details and I'm, I, I believe it's going to work, but I got to, I got to do a little work here today. And so stay tuned for the re-airing of the live stream. I believe at 3 p.m. today, be a little flexible with me as I, uh, figure this thing out. All right. Happy New Year. Here we are. Oh, by the way, big news today. All right. I'll share that with you in a minute. Uh, but all right, here we go. Come on. And there we go. Just pulled the HDMI cable out of the camera. And that took about two hours to figure out this live stream business. That was crazy. That was crazy. I live streamed like eight years ago for another project. I don't, I'm not saying it's gotten any easier, ladies and gentlemen. I had to pull a bunch of ninja moves. Insanity, but I think it's going to work tonight. Well, for you yesterday, but you know what I mean. go first run of 2019 and my first run back after a two-week break oh it feels so good to get the shoes back on and lace them up and get out there in the fresh air and it's cold out today which is good because i'm trying some new gear today and on that note in 2019 one of my goals is to maybe not every single run but many of the runs uh communicate to you all of the gear i'm wearing everything from the socks to the hat to the outerwear to the shoes of course so stay tuned for that after my three mile loop easy loop from my house you know the drill drill on that and uh let's do this guys here we go first run back and actually i'll just call it first run preparing for my first marathon uh, in 2019. All right, come on. First steps of 2019. There we go, the first run of 2019. 
I'm back. I'm back. All right. Three miles, 5K for everyone outside the United States. I'm going to do better in 2019, giving you kilometers and miles. Just nine minute and about 10 second pace, 9.10. So nice and easy, nice and slow for the first run back, getting the legs going. And yes, I purchased a thermometer about three weeks ago. Basically, I want to be as accurate as possible when talking to you about gear as far as what are the temperatures out. And it's saying it's 29 degrees out. So in the sun, in the shade, it's a lot colder. It's probably like 19 degrees out, but it's saying 29 degrees and 31% humidity. So anyway, just so you know, starting top to bottom, and starting top to bottom, got my Gooder sunglasses. I must say, my eyeballs were getting pretty chilly today in the Gooder. I miss my Smith sunglasses. So anyway, Gooder sunglasses. I had my buff on. Uh huh. This is a this is a buff. B U F F. My Solomon. Hold on. My Solomon hat. Love my green Solomon hat. Uh, this is the XA, right? The XA hat, Solomon XA hat. Love it. Oh, very comfortable. You know I love this hat. All right, wearing a Solomon jacket, and it's cold today. It's the coldest it's been since last winter in, in Denver, but it's not that cold. So I'm still putting this jacket through the paces. Want to take it more like in the 15 to 20 degree range. I want to take it out in those types of temperature, temperatures. So st Fahrenheit, by the way. Stay tuned for that. Uh, okay, Nafel. Gloves, first time wearing these, N-O-F-E-L, Nofel, or I, don't, I hope I'm saying that right, I don't know, N-O-F-E-L, they, well, I'll just say my fingers are kind of cold right now, so eh, we'll see, this is my first time wearing these gloves, uh, Sun 2 Ambit Peak 3 watch, I'm wearing Nike Thin Tights today for on my legs, and then I'm wearing Darn Tough socks, those orange Darn Tough socks, they feel good, and then of course the On Cloud running shoes, and this is my first time wearing the On Cloud shoes, out, and I've got a lot of thoughts on these my first impressions coming right up So that's what I was wearing today. I know that was just a brief overview But uh, overall feeling pretty good a couple areas of the body that are a little chilly. So all right, here we go Whoo continuing with the day nice little three miles and look what the boys are doing doing the chores Woo! Good job, buddy <laughs> Yeah, oh you might have hit a crack Test one, two, three, test one, two, three. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, just getting the test down, getting the audio going, the lights going. Oh, it's a lot. I'm in the shed. Uh, that was fun, by the way, to play in the snow with the kids for a minute. Oh my goodness. We're here, it's 5.34 p.m. going live, and in case you did not see the live stream, it should be available on this channel somewhere. I don't know exactly where, but, because this is my first time doing a live stream, but I believe it's gonna be available somewhere on the channel. Should be just basically under the video library. So anyway, here we go. Test, test, test. One, two, three. Well, that does it. Just hit uh, stop live stream. That was crazy. That was a little crazy. I uh, had some technical difficulties. For some reason, I think it was, it came down to the Wi-Fi. It's, it looks like I'm gonna have to get faster internet here at the house in order to do more effective live streams, but we did it after about 15 minutes of, you know, negotiating the technical difficulties, but we did it. Thank you for watching. If you were able to tune in live, that was fun. I answered, I don't know, 35, 40, 50 questions. I'm not sure how many questions I answered, but it was a fun new thing for this YouTube channel. First live stream ever is in the books and we're only gonna get better. We can only go up from here. I knew, that, you know, I pretty much knew there would be some sort of issue and I think it was probably the internet this time, but oh, so fun. And I'm gonna say upper right hand corner. You can go watch it now, upper right hand corner. Uh, be patient with the audio at the beginning, especially there's a little bit of an echo and then it gets better about two or three minutes later. So amazing. Oh, I'm excited. All right. Onward. Onward. My first impression of the on cloud running shoe. This is my first time ever in an on shoe. So this is exciting. Like it's always fun to try a new brand, a new company. And this is not my full review. Just so you know, I like to do full reviews after about 50 miles. Uh, First things first, a major issue happened today. Major, major issue. So I'll talk to I'll tell you that about that in a minute. But first of all, let's start with some specs. It's a six millimeter drop, so not too high, uh, but also obviously not a zero drop. So kind of middle of the road for the drop from heel to toe. Uh, pretty standard width. I felt like through, you know, didn't feel too wide nor too, you know, definitely didn't have a, like a Solomon feel. Pretty normal width, especially through the midfoot. And uh, the weight, 
the weight, seven ounces. And oh my goodness, what is that in grams? Can anyone in Europe help me out? Because I, I need to do better. I'm gonna do better in 2019, giving you the ounces and the grams, but I don't know what that is in grams right now. Seven ounces, very lightweight. And of course, it's because of this very unique um, midsole, which basically it has holes through the midsole. And the reason I bought this shoe at the Boulder Running Company, you saw me there buying them a couple weeks ago, uh, it felt like in the store when I was jogging around that the shoe was pushing me straight forward. Straight, it was so unique. And I don't know if it's because of this, um, basically this this uh, gully through the bottom of the, the outsole. It's this unique uh, line here through the outsole. And anyway, in the store, it felt like the shoe was pushing me straight forward. And today, I could feel it, not as much though. I think in part because I was running on snow. That's just the reality of Denver right now. It was snowing uh, yesterday, so I was running on snow, so I didn't feel that straightforward push as much today, but it was it was there, I, there was hints of it. So I'm excited actually to run in this shoe, maybe even tomorrow, we'll see, uh, on pavement or concrete once the snow melts. As far as comfort goes through the upper, really comfortable. When I slipped it on my foot today, it felt so good. It felt like a slipper and it's a very basic upper. I, there's no bells and whistles on this upper. It just, it's very simple. I, I don't know how else to describe the upper other than simplistic, but it was really comfortable on, my, on the top of my foot. And I don't know if it's the material they're using. I'm not sure yet. Um, one little concern is my toes were getting a little chilly in this shoe. It's winter. Today it was in the mid 20s when I was running. And uh, it's a very breathable upper. Very breathable. So if you're running in this shoe in below 20 degree temperatures, you're going to want very thick socks because it's a very breathable upper. So keep that in mind. But if you live in a warm climate, you know, we have a lot of viewers in Brazil. Brazil, Singapore, Thailand, uh, the Philippines, Australia, it's summer down there right now. Like, oh, this would be amazing in the summertime. I'm, I'm actually kind of excited about this shoe potentially for the summer, but keep that in mind. Very breathable through the upper, very lightweight, and therefore uh, my toes were getting a little cold today. Kind of unique is what I'm noticing is the collar is kind of long. It's elongated a little bit. It's different than, um, I don't know, like, Nike or uh, who else? I guess maybe New Balance, but it just seems like the collar which wraps around your ankle is a little longer. And so I'm not quite sure what that's about. I'm, you know, again, just tr this is just my first impression. So anyway, but again, very comfortable collar, but it's a little longer through the collar from heel to to the uh, to the tongue. And my last first impression, and again, we'll get you the full review very soon. The ride was awesome. It felt great. Like the shoe felt really good. Keeping in mind, I was running probably 80% of the run today, 90% on snow. So I'm factoring that in, which, you know, that impacts your stability and even the cushion of the shoe because you're running on soft snow. So I, I again, I want to take it out on pavement, but the ride felt great. Uh, no complaints about the ride. And oh, yeah, okay, I'm going to stop there because I, I know I just need to take it out on pavement. All right, major issue major issue. Swiss engineering did not pull through. And if you live in Switzerland and you know someone who works for ON, let me know and send this video to them. I was lacing up the shoes today on my living room floor. You saw me and maybe you could even hear it. I'm not sure because I haven't, I have not reviewed the footage yet. I tore the upper. I tore the upper. This is my first time ever lacing up this on cloud shoe and I tore the upper and I'm gonna try and film it for you right now with a macro lens. I tore the upper, the, t the, the upper tore when I was lacing and I wasn't like wrenching down too hard. This is a major, major, major concern on. I'm looking at it right now, it just tore. So I love this shoe, it feels good, very lightweight, Build quality is at a one out of 10 right now, maybe two out of 10. Oh my goodness, not good, not good, not good. I'll keep you posted. Uh, I mean, it's almost worth maybe even returning. So we're gonna just, we're just gonna set this aside for now. It's getting me a little riled up, getting me a little riled up. All right, 
on to the keyword and the question of the day. We're actually not going to talk about the shoe. Uh, we'll get to that. Although if you have a comment about the upper tearing, if that's ever happened to you in another shoe on your first run, let me know. But the keyword rather today is live because yes, we went live today on this channel, even though a few technical difficulties and the question of the day for today, were you able to tune in if you did? Thank you, and what did you think of the experience? You know, and don't be afraid to critique uh, my presentation or critique uh, the goods and the bads or what I can improve for the next time. I'm here to learn and to serve you and to just provide, again, as much value as possible. So, oh boy. And we're back, and we're back, we're good, okay. And trying to bring you as much value as possible. So, were you able to tune in? What did you think? Ideas for the future and yes, questions for the future. If I did not answer your question in the live stream, ask them down below. I will save them and yes, put them. Where's the shoe box? Anyway, I'll put them in the shoe box for the next time and hopefully I'll get to them next time. We'll just do our best. We'll do our best. Sound good? You're amazing. Thank you for being here. Thanks for uh, tuning in and we're just getting started. We are just getting started youtube seek beauty work hard and love each other see you tomorrow